Hello guys and a massive welcome back to the channel. It's been a while, uh, it's been well over a month since my last video. Um, things have been up and downy and all over the showy, uh, but I finally got myself a new job and I am proud to say that I am now working alongside Simon at Bespoke Buses. Um, based in Westmores, down in Wimborne. So if any of you guys are local, um, pop in, give us a shout, say hi, come say hi. Um, I'll have a look around your van, may even do a little bit of filming and get you in a video. Right. You might be able to tell that I'm super excited by that, by the way. <laughs> uh, so in this video, I'm going to be fitting some um, new bulbs to my van. I'm currently running standard headlights, which I prefer. Um, you know the nice sequential ones? This seat's well annoying. Um, I actually prefer these to um, some of the upgrades you can get. I don't understand why people change them. They don't look too bad. They look quite smart, if you ask me. Did you hear that? That was epic. That was a um, Mark II Escort RS Mexico or something. Fair play. I'm not really old enough to know what one of those is. <clears throat> um, anyway, so, the headlights. Um, I prefer these guys to some of the ones you can get, some of the aftermarket ones, um, mainly because of their quality at night. They are actually really good. I don't understand why people try and, oh, my lights aren't really that bad and I can't see at night. Change the bulbs. Um, so, Elliot from Traveling Light, some of you guys know him quite well, I would imagine. Um, he's actually sent me some of these guys. So. These are the um, dipped beam, let me get it. <laughs> these are your DRL lights and these are your main beam. So what we're gonna do is just get these changed on the van, get them in and then happy days. It's nice to be back. First things first, obviously you gotta pop your bonnet because you gotta get access to behind the lights. Once you're in here, you want to remove the rubber seal that protects it from the elements. Now you're just going to pop this off. Now you can get inside the actual light. We're going to be changing the DRLs first and these are the DRLs. So you want to reach inside and you want to turn it counterclockwise then you can pull it out you want to pop it out and carefully pop in the new one and then put it back inside and turn it clockwise to lock it in place this is the top part of the light and I've just got it facing this way so you guys can see inside how to change the light bulb so there's a pin here release the wiring loom off the back of the light pop the light take the bulb out put the new bulb in shut down the pin and then put the loom back on that's your main light. To do your dip beam, so your um, side lights as it were, you simply pull this out. Now it's a bit fiddly to get out. Change the bulb and then pop it back in. So you literally pull this out, change the bulb and put it back in. So what I can show you here is my light set up at the moment. So obviously down here, 
um, I've got my DRLs. Now they are like the white, ice white uh, LEDs. On this side, I've got a, in here, I've got a DRL bulb. This ice white, but it's nowhere near as bright as the new side. And then on this side, you can see my um, side lights are like an orangey color. And then this side is ice white. So I've changed this side. I've got that side to do. And then I've got the main beams to fit in. So this is kind of like real time changing bulbs over on this side. So I'm going to do these as I film, sorry, as I do these. So if you're bored and you think, oh, I don't really need to watch this, by all means skip to the next part of the video, which will be the end. <laughs> because I believe over this side, it's a tad bit more fiddlier because you've got the air box in the way. But so far, so good. Obviously, you can look down inside the van to check if you're putting things in right. But to me, I suppose the hardest part of this is doing it without being able to physically see. But yeah, so I'm nearly done. I've literally got to try and plug this beast in, if I can see where to plug it in. Just in there. Real time videos, eh? Who'd have thought of it? No editing. Get this busted out as quickly as possible. And then you guys can have some fun on your own bands. That one was a bit of a pig. Um, and it's giving out some serious heat. Hot. Anyway, right, a couple of things to look out for. There's nothing wrong with these bulbs. I simply changed them because they were kind of like a yellowy look. And I'd really like to find um, some kind of like matching lights. So they're all kind of like an ice whitey light. Try not to touch the bulb with your grubby hands and stuff. Because they kind of like heat up and then can burst. And you know, you want to keep these. These are decent spare. Again with this one. This is what I had in there. Um, Osram. Yeah, Osram's. I've changed them for the traveling light ones. These are all right. They're not quite as bright, but again, I'll keep them as a spare. And then the little tiny ones. Oof. These are very orangey, but in all fairness, you've got no hope of not touching the bulb with that, to be fair. Um, and these are a matter of pence. So I guess if these burst, um, just be careful pulling it out, don't squeeze it too hard. It's only very, very thin glass. But anyway, that's that done. So that is it for this video. I've got a couple more bits to finish off on this van. I've got a fridge to fit, and then my van is completely done, pretty much. I'll do a video where I show you guys around, show you everything that I've done. A lot of things I have missed out. Um, those of you that make videos occasionally for things, you'll realise that making a video whilst doing a little something makes the little something take forever. Um, this has taken me probably, or is going to take me, at least an hour to produce this video and edit it etc whereas it is literally a five minute job to change your light bulbs but it's all fun and games so thanks for watching guys this is tom this is t-dubs although it's a bit messy this is the bespoke buses workshop <laughs>
And if you, actually, if you fancy getting your branded t-shirt, so if there's any of you guys out there that, I don't know, work for a company that have t-shirts and merchandise like that, if you guys fancy getting one of your t-shirts or jumper on show in the back, there's a bit of Rusty Lee there, a bit of Fantastic, um, and hmm. so you low down transporters one over there. Um, so if you guys fancy getting one of your t-shirts or something on the back wall, give us a shout. I'll send you the address, and we'll stick it on the wall. See you soon, guys.